In Windows 8.1, Microsoft has released some changes to the way the split screen functionality works, and we're going to cover that today. If you take a regular Windows 8 application like Mail, and you click on it to open it up, it occupies the full screen. But if you grab it from the top, it just as before, and you pull down and you pull it off to the side, and it'll allow you to place it on one side of the screen or the other. But the new thing is that it's right dead center in the middle, as you can see here. So we can put it on either side, and if we release it over there, it'll occupy that half of the screen. But now you can drag the bar. Now be, be careful. If you drag it too far and you release it, you're going to allow the thing to go back to full screen. So let's uh, just take a look at that again. If we drag this down and we pull this in, and we decide which side we want it on. I'm going to pull it over here to the right, and the bar will appear. And if you play around with it and let it go, it'll fill that half of the screen. And now you can pull on this bar here. And if you go too far, that's too far. You pull it back and let go. And there's your uh, your screen size that you want to have. And you can adjust that uh, either way you want. You know, once you have it adjusted that way, you can sit there. And uh, if you try and go this way, you can actually get a little bit further on this side. If you look over there, you see that's too far. If you pull it back again and let go, you get a narrower bar. And once you have that narrower bar, you can actually move it to either side you want. You can just sit there and grab it, drag it. You can put it all the way over on the left-hand side into a narrow bar over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag it back over all the way and put it back into a uh, full Windows mode here in a second because uh, I don't have to have it like this in order to use functionality sometime. For example, this email I got from the Outlook team when I created the email account has a link in it. If I click on that sign in link and it will automatically open up a different session with a browser in it. Now that browser is for IE and it automatically took half the screen. So here I am on, uh, in Internet Explorer uh, working with half the screen. I can move this around, change the split screen around and everything uh, and have this uh, working whichever way I want. Go do what I need to do over there, close it down, it returns to full screen mode because that's where I was at. Now, we're going back to the half screen mode, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the really cool features now the split screen is out. What am I going to do with the space over there? If I click on it, I go to the start menu. Well, if I click on another application, a Windows 8 application, it automatically fills that half of the screen. Now, once I have that half of the screen, I can go watch emails, do different things over there. I can check things out over here on the uh, finance side. And, of course, I can change this window whatever size I want uh, within limitations. And I can have my mid bigger working space over here so I can do things over here while I'm looking over here in my mail section over there. Uh, nice dual use over there. Now, let's say I want to open up a third Windows application, Sports. Well, look what happens. It sits there and says, hey, where do you want me to go? I know you wanted to run, but I don't know which side to replace. So all you have to do is click on the side that you want to. It doesn't have to be inside this box but or in the application area over here. And it'll go ahead and move that over to the running applications on the side uh, of the screen. So if we click on this over on the side, then Sports will replace Finance. So there it is there. And now if you look over here on the side of the menu and everything, uh, over here, we run our cursor down, there's the uh, applications that are running, including the finance application that we replaced. So what happens when we want to run, uh, let's say, a desktop? Now, it doesn't wiggle back and forth because it's a different kind of application and everything, but if we click on the side of the screen we want it to go on, it will occupy that side of the screen. and It will share the very nicely with a Windows 8 application on the other part. But uh, well, let's say we want to run other Windows normal applications, the uh, applications that run while on the desktop, uh, not a Windows 8 application. Well, if we run Notepad, which is a, a Windows 8 application, no different than running a uh, word processor or thing like that, you see it, it occupies the desktop. And we can still have multiple applications running here. If I go open up a Explorer here, there you see the Explorer running multiple applications over there. I can even use those same functions of dragging windows within the windows to occupy all the space, uh, half of the desktop, the available desktop space, and do those same things that you would normally do on a desktop, all while still looking at your Windows 8 application over there. So effectively, I have three programs running now, two regular Windows applications and a Windows 8 application. 
So uh, let's, look, let's go through this one more time. Let's open up a third window, and I can view some of the files that I'm working on. And I can have triple uh, programs running over here. It doesn't make a difference. It's still your good old windows underneath. So what about that? Let's move the desktop. Let's close the desktop this time. Well, the desktop doesn't ever really close. It, does, it disappears over here from your menu system and all that. It doesn't stay there. But if you go back to the store and you click on desktop, nothing's closed. Everything's still running. The desktop's still there. So again, uh, if you were going to use the Windows 8 application or any application, you want to replace what's going on in your split screen, just click on the application. It'll hop out there and say, hey, where do you want me to go? Click over there. It'll replace it. Slide your desktop around uh, until you, it's working for you. Uh, you can be over here looking at different things going on on either side, flip back and forth, and never leave the comfort of the desktop uh, from your view. So a couple more examples, just uh, slide the desktop around to where you like it and everything. Go back to the start screen, open up an application like Mail. Uh, go over here and set it up to where you can take a look at that. You go back over to your desktop, uh, do whatever you need to do over there, run whatever application you want to. Uh, then you'll, of course, you'll see over here, you'll see any emails that come in. Uh, then uh, if you have some other things to do as well, simply go back to the uh, new start button uh, down here in the bottom, click on it and go out to your desktop and uh, open up, uh, the, let's say, your calendar program and decide where you want to look at that and put it over there and do your calendar work. Or come over here to uh, Xbox uh, and take a look at the Xbox stuff and just keep swapping stuff out. And you'll see that they're all over here for you to play around with and then move to wherever you want to be more productive. So I think it's a great addition here as we swap out more and more things and everything. Uh, very easy to work with and very nice uh, way to keep yourself organized and, and yet uh, productive with the two different environments. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. We have over 100 Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 videos and we're publishing more all the time.